What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Josh with Wrights Woodworks and today we are unboxing the One Laser Hydra 9 Series Laser. This laser comes with a 100 watt glass tube and also a 38 watt RF tube all in one. Let's take a closer look, let's get started. All right, one thing real quick before we start unboxing this laser, I wanna go over the options you have in the Hydra series by One Laser. There's four different models available. You have the seven, the nine, the 14, and the 16. The higher the number, the high, bigger the laser. So the Hydra seven is an 80 watt machine, 28 by 20 inch bed. You have the Hydra nine, which is this model here, 100 watt machine, 35 inch by 24 inch bed. Then you have the Hydra 14, which is a 130 watt machine, 55 by 35 inch bed. And now you have the big boy, the 16. It's a 150 watt machine, 63 by 40 inch bed. I mean, it doesn't get much bigger than that. Also, what you can add onto these machines to make it a dual laser type of machine is you can add an RF laser source in there. Um, so you can use both laser tubes for different types of jobs in one machine. Those are available in the 38 watt and also in a 75 watt uh, option. So, all right, first impressions of the crate. This thing is very well constructed. I've unboxed a lot of lasers in my day, about eight or nine of them. And this has to be by far the best conditioned crate as it's arrived um, from overseas. So um, overall, it looks to be very well constructed. I know a couple buddies of mine have already unboxed their desktop series from One Lasers and the packaging was very impressive. So I'm excited to see how it's boxed inside or packaged inside, I should say, and uh, hopefully packaged well enough to make the trip from overseas into our shops. So everything on the crate is all nailed together. So we're gonna see if we can pry this bad boy open and go from there. So we're going to remove the, the top first and peek inside. Almost there. Then we can peek inside. It's definitely on there, that's for sure. All right, the top's loose. Here's the first look. Lots of nails poking out all around, so. Got to be careful. Got your Ruida controller over there, under the foam there. Got some toolboxes down there. Not sure what else is down in there. Some parts and everything. You do have the extended tube in this model. So the tube is long enough where it doesn't fit in the cabinet. So it will stick out with a little extension there. All right, next we're gonna take off the sides. There's only the only screws in the crate are on holding on these uh, corner brackets. So we're gonna go ahead and take these off. Pretty easy. So now we've removed the top support. So now we're just gonna take off the back side here. I'm not exactly sure how it comes off, but we're just gonna keep hitting it until it starts to move. There we go. More effective. So now we're gonna take the front off, let it fall. We had to open the garage for this because didn't have enough room. Definitely very well constructed. There she is. All right, I will say now that we got the crate off, that crate was uh, very secure, held with about 14,000 nails, it seemed like. Had to pry everyone off, very well constructed. Nothing's getting in or out of that crate. So now that we got it unboxed, uncrated I should say, looking at it first impressions, 
I mean, everything is, uh, there was more styrofoam on here um, from the cross members. I took that off, but it is very well protected. Everything is shrink wrapped, styrofoam corners. It looks good. I mean, it looks sleek. I love the color scheme. Let's get the plastic wrap off. Alright guys, got all the wrapping and shrink wrap off the machine, got all the doors open. Just give you a quick tour. So here's your 35 by 24 inch bed, magnetized, or not magnetized, magnets can stick to it. it. Looks like it's an aluminum frame, magnets do not stick to the aluminum frame. Let's see, what else we got here? It's just super clean. Here's your um, exhaust duct. So it, it looks like it exhausts from the top as well as through the main grate there. It looks like there's a funnel type system. It's hard to see, but it's all white. So it pulls from the top and also the bottom below the bed. Got your laser head, the mirror system. Moving on to the tray below the bed, check this out. On a roller system. Can re grab it there and remove it if you need to. Going back, you see all the way through for the exhaust port. Super clean in here. Closes back up. Ruida control panel, emergency stop, on and off with the key switch. Going over to the other side. You have your level. My daughter came out. Why does it have a compass? Well, it's a level. Then you have your air quality tester. Okay, on the left side of the machine now, where the beam comes through the wall, hit your mirrors, laser head, all your nice rails. Below this, on the left hand side, is your RF tube 38 watt RF tube here. Cooling, sorry, pulls hot air out, goes out into the base of the machine. It's cooled by the top. This is air-cooled tube. Hits the mirror and goes up to meet the other mirrors to go through onto your material. Down here, air solenoid so you can hook up your compressor. It's already built into the machine. Okay, now onto the back side of the machine. Got your air exhaust right here is going to be your power supply, 24 volt power supply for your RF tube over there. Nice clean wiring, close that up. There's going to be your 100 watt power supply for your tube. Right below that, you have your Wi-Fi connector if you want to send files to the machine via Wi-Fi. On the right back of the machine, you have your water in, water out, where you're going to hook up your air and your chiller alarm, if that's what you decide to use. I'm guessing eventually, if you have the right connector, you can power your water chiller through this right here. Other side of the machine, you have your power input, air pump input, and exhaust fan power. I'm not sure if I'll use those, but they are there for you to use. Here's the 100 watt tube with the extender coming out past the machine side. 100 watt. Now you might be asking why is this covered with a towel? I'm not able to show this part. It's still patent pending getting everything, all those patents uh, finalized. Under here is where the CO2 tube and the RF tube beams combine and go out. How that works, we're not able to show it yet, unfortunately. 
So I was told I was not able to show it until all the patents and everything, all that stuff is finalized, ready to go. Okay, now onto the other side of the machine, all the components, st stepper motors, drivers, etc., are all in here. Pretty, I mean, nice wiring, super clean, 24 volt power supply. You can see this is the back of the machine. Some breather vents. Looks like uh, for incoming air coming into the machine or out. Here's where you can hook up the computer, your PC, your camera, and Ethernet if you decide to do so are all right there. Inside the bed that were zip tied to the bed was some uh, laser spot tests. I'm guessing for both power supplies or sorry, both laser sources. So you got your CO2 and also your RF. Got keys, some other components in there, more keys. Inside the, here's your rotary attachment. The normal four pin uh, rotary that most all rotaries here that we can uh, get will work with. On and off switch. It's super clean in here. All right, here's some of the components that were in, included. You have an inline fan, a uh, six inch inline fan. I'm not sure the specs on it. They measure it a little, little bit differently over there. So normally over here we measure in CFMs. Um, I'm sure it's probably gonna be comparable to those on the market, ranging from uh, high 300s to low 400s, uh, like the other six inch uh, inline fans that are on the market. Came with an air pump. This one's heavy duty, it's pretty big. I've had some other lasers of mine come with these uh, from back in the day, but this one looks pretty heavy duty. Um, or you can just simply hook up to uh, an air compressor. Then you got your toolbox. Let's see what's in here. Lens tool to remove your lens. Uh, power cable. Ethernet cord. Uh, USB to hook up your laptop. Chiller alarm cable. Lens cleaning swabs. Not 100% sure what this is. I'll figure that out. What else we got? Some Allen wrenches or hex keys. Some extra components of some type. Silicone tubing. Another USB for the camera, I'm assuming, because it has those two uh, connections. And some zip ties. So yeah, comes with all sorts of goodies. Wanted to point out that there are nice casters on there also uh, leveling feet so the sign earlier in the video said we got to make sure we raise those before we take it off the platform i'm gonna have to have a couple friends come over and deadlift this thing off or build some type of ramp out of the other side of the crate one of the coolest features of this laser i would say that differentiates itself from other brands is this laser can be taken apart and fit through a doorway um, it separates right here between the white and black measuring from here to the top of the laser is just under 30 inches. It's like 29.75 inches. So carrying it turned on its back or its side, however you want to look at it can fit through pretty much any doorway to go inside a shop, inside a house, um, inside a man door of any kind that you would need. Um, and then it just bolts. There's four bolts one in each corner and just bolts back together. So you should be able to carry this inside your home, inside a, a shop with a man door. You don't have a big bay door to get it in. This is the answer. Not too many laser companies have this option that I've seen personally. So that's a huge selling point for those people that want to put it inside their home, inside a home office, that type of deal. And to show you those bolts where it bolts at, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm 99% sure the bolts here, 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 and here, back, not that one, this one. So maybe three or four on each side. It's hard to tell until I get this thing off the crate, 
But uh, when I said this is an option that I don't see in very many lasers, companies that have this type of where you can fit it through a man door, that would be for this type of laser. There's a lot of small desktop type lasers out there, but for this size of laser that has this big of a bed at this wattage, it just simply doesn't exist that I know of. If you know of something else, definitely put it in the comments below. All right, got it unboxed. Showed you around the laser, Hydra 9 by one laser. I'm impressed. Like this thing is quality. Everything from the paint job to the components inside, the wiring is super clean. Now we just gotta fire it up. Plug it in, fire it up, hook up the chiller, the air. We're gonna rock this thing. Check back in the next video coming soon. I appreciate you guys. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content on the Hydra series. Thanks again.